Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2023 Flagstaff Classic model number 529 RLBS. We got four slides, three couches, a kitchen in the middle with a separate rear living room, bed slide up front, weighing 10,000 pounds. 37 feet overall, just an awesome floor plan. I think these guys do it the best. This trailer needs new haters because they all became fans. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Handelmeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow sales people? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RB YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd really appreciate that. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook producing some sweet reels on these new trailers, so you check that out as well. Enjoy this video. Right on, Brandon. Good looking exterior on this guy. Great looking front cap. The, the, uh, the top portion here is painted so it's not gonna fade or chalk or distort over time. Nice unibrow light. We got the current turning point hitch, which basically gives you lots of, lots of flexibility with your truck selection. You can use a five and a half foot box, six and a half foot box, whatever you wanna do, you're still gonna be able to turn with this, even without putting a sliding hitch in your truck. We got a rougher style storage in through there. That's also where your battery and box goes. Uh, that's the venting for your battery. Uh, we got our front light in through there. There is solar on the roof with an inverter built into this guy's standard. We've got our propane tanks right through here, 30 pounders on either side. There's your controls for your electric auto leveling system. And then we got our pass through storage. The way they do this, I like. They set the one door a little bit further back so you have access to the Nautilus panel. Uh, that's where your city water connection is, your black water flush kit, your winterizing, you're doing all your plumbing, you're laying things in from there. And then there is an inverter built in over there to the left. We got our furnace vent here. We've got a light here that's gonna kind of light up our convenience center, also light up our sewer drain down below. Goodyear tires, 16 inch, aluminum rims with torsion suspension. We have access to the back of the fridge in through here. Um, yeah, coming on the back side here, 50 amp detachable style cord. We got a class three receiver, roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. That's a one piece roof, just like how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. We got slide toppers as an option on this particular one. We're trying to bring it in with that all the time. Outside speakers, additional outside shower in through here, which is pretty slick. And then, uh, yeah, getting into the door side here. One of the benefits of having a smaller slide on the door side of the camper is it lets you put a very, very long awning on here. So long, in fact, that it needs a cradle. You'll see the awning itself as like an aluminum shield to protect it, so that if you're coming kind of down branches or whatever, it's gonna protect that fabric for you. Look at all the door side windows we got on the side, right? Now. Big frameless windows facing our campsite. There's a griddle that comes with this trailer, clips on, hooks up down below. We got a freshwater fill right here. If you don't have an end for the hose, an outside receptacle, spot to put a TV, and then some bonus storage here built into our booth dinette, or the boot, the, the bench portion of our dinette. Four step entrance up and in. This is cable assisted, so it's really easy for anyone to kind of put that up and in. We also have our lend a hand grab handle. Screenshot, Brennan. It's gonna shut by itself. We got our six gallon gas ultra water heater and then they have this portion of the pass through a little bit further forward so you get to use all that space there's an override crank there for your manual slides whole lot going on with this guy you want to see the inside you want to check out the travel access yes please all right now as we come in at first glance it's going to look like you can't get to your fridge not the case though we got these movable uh, bent, uh chairs in through here we can kind of slide those off to the side and then we can definitely get to the one half of our fridge for snacks and drinks on the side of the road and then looking up to your right there brendan you can see we have nice easy travel access to the bathroom and then to your bedroom let's get this thing opened up Right on folks, we're inside that 529 RLBS. I just, I really like the way Flagstaff does does this. Not to beat be up my boys from Eagle and, and Grand Design or whatever, but this is this style floor plan, I think Flagstaff does the best. We got the, 
the booth dinette, which you can see over on your left there. There's a store, <clears throat> storage on the outside from there. We got the two-seater kind of bar seats in through here. There is a bar where you can put your foot on. Nice and easy for, uh, uh, for sitting down and having some dinner. Solid surface counter space here. Kind of extends, divides the kitchen from the living space. And then uh, we'll go up this way, Brendan. We'll do pantry. It's a great pantry in through there. They set the shelves back, so there's a great spot there to put a broom if you like. We do have our residential fridge option on here. There's actually an ice maker in this one. We have our glass stove top cover with our three burner stove top. <coughs> Pardon me. Oven down below. Drawer in through there. You know, if my son sees this video, Brendan, he's going to say, cough into your elbow. Ooh. We got a pop up tower of power here with the USB and receptacles. Oversized microwave cupboard right here. And then uh, we have a bunch of upper storage here above our sink. <coughs> open shelf, solid surface on either side, another tower of power. You can charge your cell phones on these too. Uh, undermount stainless steel sink with that cool drying rack. Pop down piece here. Drawers, soft clothes, cupboards here. Great spot for a garbage can. There's already one in there. And then a small cupboard there. Heading back into our living space, which is definitely the highlight of this floor plan. We've got the two couches here facing each other. If you want to have a staring contest with your uh, significant other, nice and easy to do. They both pull out into uh, like trifold style sofas and they don't actually collide. So you can actually have them open on both sides. We have electric reclining action, sorry, electric lumbar support, manual recliners in through here. These chairs are facing the TV. While you're looking this way, Brendan, you see what I mean? How they, with these big door side windows facing our campsite. These guys do it better than, than comparable brands, in my opinion. Cupboard space, cupboard space, fireplace, sound bar, insignia TV. It is on arms, so you can kind of bring this out, have it face a couch if you want to. And then we got good covered space here on either side. You know, they went the extra mile, put a little LED lighting here too. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I, I sure do. Uh, we have a ceiling fan. We've got pretty cool looking lights in through here, a fantastic fan in through there as well. Feeling good about the living space, Brendan? Yes. All right. Heading up into the bathroom, we've got ourselves a porcelain style toilet. Yeah, the dump truck fits. Cupboard space right through here. This, these doors here are supposed to be on the other side. Making that easier again to seamless counters, undermount stainless steel sink, cupboard space there, and then the medicine cabinet there with some small little cubbies there, right there beside it. Up into the shower, and just a little bit. Probably steps up on about an inch or so, so nice and easy to get into here. Skylight, seat I can sit down and shave my legs. We got the standard fantastic fan of the bathroom here. And then heading forward, another door side window on either side of the dresser. Three drawers in through here. We've got good cupboards there. Couple drawers underneath. Again, these continue with the soft closed drawers, which I'm also a fan of. And then a nice big closet right there at the front. <clears throat> and this one's got the queen bed out in the slide. Good looking headboard. Windows on both sides. Receptacles on both sides. And then we do have storage here underneath the bed. You can see proof of all the aluminum framing in through here. They even built the bed base out of it. Bringing the weight down. Making it stronger than a wood frame bed blocks as well. I feel like that's the video, Brendan. Yeah. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have a good day.